first of all, what is the first thing that uh, we have in the uh, life cycle of any of uh, a class or component something? First of all, we create that life cycle, right? First phase is that we create that component. So first, uh, what what uh, whenever we talk about a life cycle, it's about the birth. So how do we give a birth to a component by creating it? So what is the first uh, step for writing a component? That first life cycle for a component is to create it. Then when it is created, what is the next step that it it goes through? It goes through a rendering. What do you mean by rendering? Loading or loading, a loading or refreshing? Yeah, you can see that when this page is available on the browser, mm -hmm. the time the time it takes to load that particular thing on the browser is called rendering. So after this rendering, uh, when the pa page is rendered, what it it does? It renders and creates its children. Okay. Create and render. Okay, so next thing is create and render its children. Now, what is the fourth uh, step that we have for an application? It's the process that are going on. Okay, for example, all the user interactions that are being performed, which which makes your code to work, uh, the any change in your and uh, you'll click on that button, you do filtering on something like that. So whatever the next step is the execution. Or what you can say the interaction with component. Okay, the interaction with the component, and then when all the interactions has been done, then what is the last phase of an uh, of a component is destroy. Okay, so what is the initial? Uh, it is just a simple uh, process, right? We created. The component we create a company. The component is being rendered on the screen. Then after rendering, it renders and creates and renders children, right? Then whatever the interactions that we uh, with, that we uh, do with this particular, um, uh, for example, the we have created a page. Now we are clicking on show more, show and hide of a button. So that is an interaction. We are writing something on that input box. That is an interaction, right? So all those interactions that we do on a page is being processed okay and then what is the last stage of a component life cycle is destroy as soon as we leave the component we need to destroy this comp the uh, the component goes to the destroyed state so that it can free up all the memory the, or the resources that it has consumed while creating it okay so this is the first uh, what you can say the overall phase the brief phase of a component that it goes through is it clear yeah okay so if there is a component, if there is a component and if there is a life cycle for that component, then there must be some life cycle hooks written for that for any in any of the Angular application or in any of the technology. If we have some life cycle processes, then we have associated some events to that also like on initialize. OK, on on destroy. Uh, if you talk about a. Uh, um, on page load so all these are the all these are the events that happen while the component or the while a class is going through different different phases of its life cycle so these classes are automatically called whenever the component or the whenever a class goes through that particular uh, cycle on that particular phase okay is it clear you must yes. have worked with the component uh, hooks or what you can say in not component you must have worked with the life cycle hooks prior to this Right, so we'll see that how we ha how we can use uh, these component life cycle hooks and what are the component life cycle hooks that we have for the Angular. Okay, so uh, first hook that we have for the Angular is called a ng on init. Okay, the before in this create there is an on init function that is being uh, triggered which is used for initializing all the data that is being uh, that you want to set up while displaying your page okay so what is the purpose of this on on in it on in it performs the component initialization and suppose if you are retrieving a data from the external sources like http browser or or some external json or server then what uh, what all the data extraction are done uh, at the time at the time of on init whenever we are initializing the data is it clear what is the yes. purpose of the on init 
or in yes. perform the component initialization and it is used to retrieve the data from the server or some external sources okay then there is a next on life cycle hook which is called an on change okay and on change is a hook as the name suggests whenever there is a change in the existing state of your application okay exist if there is any change in the existing component state then the on change method will be called for example right now you have a blank input box suppose and after some time you start writing something on that input box so that will be take, taken as an change event so whenever you write something on that input box the on change method will be called okay is it clear okay yes then after that there is a next what you can say the life cycle hook next important life cycle hook that we have is on destroy okay what is the purpose of this on destroy the on destroy performs the clean up operations means uh, releasing the resources on if you are using a comp, uh, constructor user destructor over there to release all the memory the variables are consuming and all that stuff right this is what we do uh, when when a component is being destroyed right now how do we use these hooks is it clear about these hooks what is on and on init what is on change what is on destroy yeah yeah okay now these are the basic what you can say the theory for these hooks